well offshore, we settle down for the hours ahead, hour after hour of waiting and watching baits. As we troll, we relax, enjoying the vast waters, always alert. And as the hours pass, we drift into dreaming. We can almost see a big blue marlin whacking the swimming bait, clubbing it with that vicious sword as he might a live mackerel caught on the edge of a school. Visualizing the stunned fish as the marlin picks it up to eat. We trace the line running up to the rod tip, looping out to the outrigger and back to the bait. It has been especially planned to help simulate natural conditions. If the strike comes, it will knock the line out of the clip. The loose line will permit the bait to drop back from the moving boat, lying seemingly dead in the water like a stunned fish. Yes, sir, big game fishing is dreaming, teamwork, attention to detail, a little luck and... Patience, George. Remember our first blue? We trolled endless days before we got a strike. He's after the bait on the port rigger. Get the rod and the gimbal, George. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. Careful now. Look out, the rigger's stuck. He's hitting it. Snap out the line, Bill. He's got it. A little free spool, George, till he has it good. Tighten the drag down. Strike! That's driving the hook home, George. Oh, look at that big fish take off. Clear the starboard rod, Bill. Man, that Marlin's really trying to rid himself of that hook. Here we go, hard to port. Let's get on him before he strips off too much of our line. Eve, George, Eve, pump in the slack. Got to reel in free line and get tension on this fish. The pressure's on. We've got him on a taut line now. He's slowing down. Lean into that rod, George. Man, he'll go 600 pounds if he'll go an ounce. Hold it, Andy. He stopped. Tail walking, slashing about. Still very wild, though. Ten will get twenty. That Marlin's got a bag of tricks left before we bring him to gaff. I knew it. He's off on another run. on a little more drag, George. Let's save some line. The big blue turns on the power. No puny little drag is going to stop him. Our reel is getting dangerously low. Let's get after him, Andy. We need to pick up line. We're sure thankful for a good boat. Power and speed. Gives us a chance to circle wide, head the fish off, work them into the center of our end run, gain some of that precious line. He's turned. He's now plunging back towards our stern. Pour it on, George. Pour it on. Everything is under terrific strain. Uh-oh, he's sounded. He's going down, straight down and deep. A desperate plunge, a different tactic of escape. 
Hang on to him, George. He's way down there, circling slowly, way down deep, soaking it out. The big fish won't budge. He's dogging it. Our mate Bill Lance has an idea. Let's try planing, Andy. Pull ahead. Maybe we can get him on a long, slow angle, foot by foot. Keep the pressure on him, George boy. Here's where a good big game rod is important. The bent tip shows the pressure as we wear the fish down. inch by inch. Keep him coming, George. He's starting to move on his own now. Reel that line in. He's surging up. He didn't like that little game of ours. Defiant, slashing, mean, like frenzy in an ugly mood. Hold everything, Captain. That's it, back down the boat. He's hanging on, like a prize fighter, rocking on his heels. Here comes the leader wire. Let's move in fast. Time to finish this thing off. Wire him, Bill. Watch that sword. No baby to play around with. Night falls fast in the tropics. Let's not get caught outside the reef. Just old Bill. Think he'd forget our victory flag? Yes, George, he was plenty big. Homeward bound. The suggestion of an angler's smile reveals satisfaction. Moments to remember of our team's tussle with the mighty blue.